What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we obviously have a uh, market talk as per usual. We're going to go over what's going up, what's going down, what you should do with your cards, how to make MT, all that good stuff. Before we get into it, drop 20,000 in the comments, like the video. So if you are new, 100 likes on the video, we will give away that MT. So, um, yeah. Um, they we're actually really close to one of my videos for the giveaway, so make sure to go smash that like button. Um, we do have a lot of stuff to talk about with the market, and of course, my face cam is lagging. Have a lot of stuff to talk about. We do have new content dropping Friday. Do not know exactly what it is, but we are gonna have a video on uh, how to prepare for it. So stay tuned for that as well. And uh, yeah, let's get into the market. As per usual, there is league moments packs in the game, but yeah, let's go over Giannis real quick. Let's go over Diamond Giannis. I know a lot of people have been talking about him, and honestly, he did go down a little bit. So. If you do want to get moments, right now is not a bad time to do it. You probably, this is probably a really good price for Giannis. 136 KMT is really cheap. I got mine for 175 or 180. So I don't know. This is a pretty good price. If you do want to get your Giannis now, I would recommend it. Because honestly, I think he will go up as the days goes on. So yeah, I would go pick up my Giannis ASAP. And also, I wanted you guys, I want to explain this to you. Amethyst NBA 20s are going up in value let's go over it real quick so if you guys don't know these hardens are at 15k they were literally at like 12 to 13 yesterday um right now they are going up so that's doves for us if you did cop a lot whoever bought ad's for 13k 12k you caught doves like me i bought a ton i bought a ton of kds for around 12 13 and he's already up to 16 so it's literally a it's a 2k dub so far but it literally the market is still going up you have to remember that it's not like it's not like the market's not going to keep going up. It's just you have to wait. You have to be patient and just keep on following my methods. Um, tomorrow, well, today is Thursday. Tomorrow, there's new content dropping. We're going to have a video on how to make MT right before the new content drops. We could see a huge market crash Friday. Not totally sure, though, because the, I feel like they could drop new Spotlight series, but I'm not totally sure. If you guys know what they're going to drop, let me know. I'm kind of curious to see what they will drop and how it will affect the market but i think we're all friday so if we're all friday i will be on probably posting three videos and the new content all that good stuff so stay tuned for that we'll maybe even do a pack opening but all right so let's go over to my diamond filter let's see if there's anything to sell some of my subs were asking me if i should sell some cards well i'm gonna i'm gonna answer that in this video so let's go over to diamonds oh not nba 20 i'm so used to putting the nba 20 filter on so regular diamond filter so it does look like everything is really cheap. He was asking me if I should sell he if he should sell his legacy cards. To be honest, I would not sell. That's a Christ right there. I would oh wow, I'm broke. <laughs> I would not sell any legacy cards right now, to be completely honest with you. If you see a, a Jamal Monster 24k, go pick it up. I don't have enough MT for it. Legacy cards are really cheap right now, to be honest. I'm not sure why. But Friday is going to make their price drop even a little more. But Sunday, for some reason, everything goes up. Friday, nothing really comes... Like, usually on Friday, nothing really crazy comes out. They just drop, like, a, a spotlight challenge, which doesn't really make the auction crash. It only makes it crash for, like, an hour or two. Uh, usually, Amethyst NBA 20s also aren't affected by that. So, if you do have your Amethyst NBA 20s, you're not going to be like scared that the new content's coming out. So that's going to be a plus. So you could hold on to your Amethyst NBA 20s right now. The new content's not going to affect it. Even though you could get some snipes because kids could, uh, they're probably going to throw up a lot of cards on the auction to like maybe get the new cards. So it would be a good time to snipe during then. But Amethyst NBA 20 cards are not going to be like bad. They're still going to be the same price and they're probably still going to go up. So don't get scared. If you have any other diamond cards, it's really not going to affect anything, to be honest. For some reason, the auction only really crashes when they drop moments packs. I don't know why, but as you can see, the market still kind of crashed from those moments packs. I have, like, perfect proof right here. Like, Willis Reed, JoJo White, and Lou Hudson were all, like, 40, 40 plus K right before they dropped those moments. That's why I told you guys on Sunday, sell your cards. Look what happened. They dropped the moments on for, uh, Monday, and you guys almost got screwed. A ton of my subscribers had that Giannis. And uh, they almost got destroyed by the fact that Giannis went down to like 100k. He was like 250k. Everyone sold him, and then guess what happened? The moments came out, and he's like 100k flat. So whoever listened to my methods made MT. Whoever didn't lost MT. So you are welcome for all you that made MT. Literally, that's it. You know, that's all I literally have to say. So let me think. 
right now. Let me talk about my Earl Monroe's. Let's talk about my Earl Monroe's. I have not checked it. This is the first time I'm on all day today. I haven't played yesterday either. Let's see, Earl Monroe. Earl Monroe should be at around 10K. He's got to go up eventually. All right, that's a good price. Let's see, he's around 10-ish maybe? Okay, he's above 10. That's good. That's that's a start. All right, 10-3. That actually just got posted. Then what? 10-3, we got an 11-2. So, all right. He actually was 8K yesterday. Now, if you did pick up like four of them, you're going to make 1K a pop so far. But now... 11 2 11 3 if you could sell for maybe 12k make 2k a pop that's big if you picked up 10 for 8k that's 80k 2k a pop uh 20k made and it'll sell pretty fast because it is a diamond card a lot of people do want this diamond card to be their budget baller so this is one of the best diamond budget ballers in the game a lot of people are going to buy him and sell him so honestly this earl monroe filter might not be bad it actually might be really money for you guys you should try it out i've only sniped out a couple but then again as you can see, it is pretty active, so definitely try it out. You can maybe get some for like 8, maybe even 7K, because they're going to throw them up for the low. Like, see another one right there for 10K. But yeah, man, it's definitely worth the try out. I also want to check out Diamond uh, Contracts, see if they finally went up. A lot of people were asking about that as well. I'm pretty much just going over what people ask me. If you guys want to see anything in the video and they want to hear my opinion on it, please let me know. I will give it my opinion on anything, on any buyout. Just let me know in the comment. Let me know on my Twitter DMs, my IG DMs, whatever you want. Go hit me up. It's in the description. I will answer any question you guys got on every single video. So pretty much right now, diamond contracts are a must. Do not sell yet. Um, they are still really cheap from the other day. So do not sell. Take my word on it. You could try sniping them. They're not really good to snipe. But they did rise about 3K. They were 13K on Thanksgiving because we did get that free diamond contract packs. They roast about 3k. If you want to sell, you could go ahead and sell. It's just not going to be the biggest amount of profit. And also, honestly, it's not a bad thing to snipe. I feel like I never really see diamond contract snipes. I don't know. Another one just got posted there, but I don't know. It's up to you if you really want to snipe it. Someone was telling me that there is a heat chick filter that I am missing. And he said he made 700k. Oh, I don't know if that's a snipe. It's probably not. Actually, no. That's definitely a snipe. Let's see that. Supposedly, the heat check filter is one of the best filters in the game. And this kid moves. He claims he moves heat checks. He makes 700k. Seven, oh, no. Did I really just get a snipe? He claims he moves 700k to a million MC a week off heat check filter. Do I believe that? I mean, it's possible. I'm not going to hate, but it sounds crazy i don't know if you could really like all right all right i just got that for 1300 let's sell i sell it for 24 all right so i'm gonna make a solid 1k clean off that one heat check now is it that consistent though that's what i'm curious about this kid says he moves 700 000 mt think about how much that is now i just got one i just literally went on the filter once and i got a 1k snipe so can he be right can the heat check filter redeem itself to be honest we'll see Maybe I'll make a separate video and see if this kid's method's right. But um, you know what, guys? If I just got one snipe in that right there, if I just got one snipe, there's got to be something cooking with these heat checks. Am I right? Maybe during the moments packs too? Something's got to be cooking. There's no way this kid makes that much MT, but it's very possible. Pretty much the method is just buy any card that pops up with 3 hours and 59 minutes left. That's going to be my method for this filter. I don't know anything that goes for like a lot. So pretty much I see anything under, I would say, 1950. I'm just going to cop. I don't care what it is. Whatever pops up is my card. So try it out. Let me know how it goes. Supposedly there is a lot of rare heat checks that I don't know about. But uh, yeah, 700k to a million. I don't know. I don't know if that sounds right. So right now, overview right now. There's kids asking me to sell cards. Right now I would not sell cards. Everything is really low. I definitely do not recommend selling. Um, I would pretty much... Hmm, this is the problem. I don't know what kind of content they're dropping Friday. So it could kind of screw you guys. So right now, I would recommend holding on to your cards. Maybe sell all your cards before Friday. Maybe try to sell them Thursday night, which is tonight, or Friday morning. But I don't know what kind of content they're dropping. It could be crazy content that crashes the market or like... I don't know, man. That's the problem. I would just say hold on to your cards until Sunday, though. I feel like that's the safer route. Because Friday, for some reason, nothing really crashes. But if you have some spare MT, it's going to help you on Friday. There's going to be some snipes. 
But other than that, if you have no MT, you could sell some cards. Try to rack up 50k. Don't sell your whole team, though. I was going to say, sell, if you want to sell some cards, wait till Sunday to sell most cards. That's my method to you guys. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed all these MT methods. Pretty much just a bunch of, me bunch of methods in one video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.